Why is there a limo? We're at the mall. Oh, I'm stupid. Hey, party people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just here chilling with this limo for some reason. But anyways, I just got to the mall here because I need to go to the Lego store. I need to because I missed out on a really cute minifigure and I really want to get it. I did not get it January 1st and I regretted it ever since. The Lego store on January 1st of 2023 was absolutely insane here. There were 400 people in line, which I had never seen before. Like even May the 4th when R2D2 came out, I thought that was a long line. This was insane. 400 people, y'all. Crazy. But I came back to the Lego store today about a week after the new year because of the minifigures. Like recently, the build a minifigure stuff has just been top tier. I honestly used to not really care too much about it. Like it was just kind of whatever. But that's changed. Now I kind of need it. But also on the agenda today is new pick-a-brick. We've actually been doing stuff in the Lego city, which like is kind of shocking to most people probably. But you know, 2023 is my year. I feel like I used to be really bad at a lot of things. So 2023, I've decided to solve sucking at everything. Do you like my new keychain? They make me happy. It's still just wild that there's just a limo there. I've also decided to kind of change how I buy Lego recently because inflation sucks and Lego's expensive and I have so much stuff that I feel like I need to use better already. Okay, so normally in the mall, it doesn't smell this much like cookie, but right now it smells a lot like cookie. There's a cookie shop over there. I like actually might stop later and now I'm hungry. <laughs> Great. And even though I'm kind of changing how I buy Lego, it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop. Like I still love buying Lego. I just want to be a lot smarter about it but let me like tell you a little bit more about that in a bit because we just got to the lego store kind of the same stuff on display as last time but here it is now let's head in so obviously starting with the coolest part of the lego store the keychains i was just looking at poo here and i'm thinking like maybe should i get a poo to like complete the friendship group but i think it might look a little too cluttered so i'm gonna pass on that they're also still doing the blacktron cruiser through the 14th and here it is built this is what it looks like i am not spending 190 in order to get this today but it does look really nice and it's starting the 15th of january there's a different gift with purchase it's like the houses of the world the central american little house it's super cute and i'm kind of glad that we got the brickheads when we did because they have three different lord of the rings ones but the gandalf the gray and balrog are sold out so glad i got them on january 1st I also just saw Lord of the Rings for the first time this past week, so that was actually pretty good. But now for the real reason we're here, the Pabbers. Let's see what they've got. So this is the main piece that I just need so much of. I probably use one cup per base plate, and it gets very expensive over time, but way cheaper than Bricklink or Shop at Home. So I grabbed a cup, but then I just saw these pieces here as well, these like clear slopey things. I don't think I saw those before. It's kind of neat. I don't know what I would do with them. All right, cup number one, cup number two is full. Cup number three is done, and they actually just taped it while I wasn't looking. So thank you, Lego store. But now let's go about some of the other pieces here. I might actually fill up some more cups of that same piece, but just try to see what else they have. And these are so handy for the hills, just like in helping stabilize the elevation. We also have some red slopey things, purple plates. But then looking at these pieces here, let me know what you think about this in the comments, but I feel like it'd be kind of nice for the rock wall. Cause instead of like, if you're sloping up this way, like normal, like a normal gradient, but if you're going the other way where the rock wall is like wider at the top and then like thinner at the bottom, maybe I'll put like a picture of what I'm talking about, but like, I think that would be kind of cool for that. Let me know what you think. I don't know, I'm considering it. And then just some snots, some green cheese slopes, just like a bunch of really random pieces, which is kind of nice. And like, if we were doing a snowy area, these would be perfect. These like one by three, I don't even know what the name of this. It's just like the L-shaped thing. But there's just a lot of really nice pieces here. I'm just trying to focus on what I really need rather than what I want. Like obviously I want a ton of these, but I don't need it. These would be kind of nice for like buildings or mocks, that sort of thing, but we're just not there yet. We have a bunch of these like circular things here for like pathways, cause it's very rustic. Like it's a good color for that. And then these here, I don't know what I would do with these but if they were brown i would buy four billion of them because that would be like the perfect tree trunk but tree trunks aren't really green so i don't think it'll work for that a big mistake we made a while ago was buying a ton of this piece here and ross used it to build like alien trees for a mock that he never finished and we've never actually shown but then spider webs are just too scary. I don't want those. I like the eyeballs though. I actually put googly eyes on my ATAT -AT and I think it's hilarious. All right, so my three cups are taped. I might come back for some more of these in a little bit, but I'm gonna just shop around for now. And then looking at Lego Super Mario, this is the perfect example for what I was talking about earlier. So like in the past and pretty much ever since I got into Lego, this was like August of 2020, I bought the whole wave on day one. Like I was so excited for the Mario sets. 
but they go on sale so quickly. So now I'm like, you know what? I don't need these day one. I can wait a little bit. Like I can find a really good deal, probably like half off at some point. Cause there's just no way I'm gonna pay full price for these when I really don't have to. The characters are definitely my favorite part of the Lego Super Mario stuff. And I know I've said this in previous videos too, but Lego City, I really like don't care too much for the theme. It's just like not what I'm drawn to. But this here, I love this, except for the fact that it's stickers. Like if these were printed, I would be all over this in a heartbeat. Like look at that sign. It's like a little portable gaming thing. That's so cool. And I haven't even seen these guys yet either. These are adorable. Like I feel like I would get this for one of my friends, you know, just as like a cute little build. Wait, there's a seal. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I really like that. Kind of morbid that there's a fish though in it and like the seal's just gonna eat the fish. But then the tree house is really cute too. I don't know, these creator three in ones are incredible. Now looking over to this area of the store, I'm kind of surprised they still have the jazz club and they have quite a few of them, like at least four here. And I assume there's more in the back. No, there's actually six here. It's a really good modular, especially the little base here. I love it. All right, so now let's do the build a minifig. This is that little boat piece I was talking about. I just love it. I did not know that there were like Girl Scouts here or maybe they're Boy Scouts, I don't know. Okay, so I just found a few more here, but how cool would it be to have like a Girl Scout troop out in our hills camping? I love that, that'd be so cute. So yeah, this is gonna be the perfect addition for the Lego City. And then I just found these dual molded legs. It kind of looks like Incredibles. All right, this is where I'm at so far. I'm getting two build a minifig. Oh wait, I forgot about the boat. Okay, I'll do a third. All right, here's my third build a minifig. I think it's time to check out. Woo, got my Lego. I think it came out to $85, including tax, but it's really not that bad. And I got a ton of stuff, so I'm really happy about that. Tons of pieces for the Lego City. The new minifigs are so cute. Like everything I got today was like for a purpose. And that's what I'm trying to do a little bit more of because sometimes I like to impulse buy, which is not great. <laughs> But anyways, now let's go find a sweatshirt. Y'all, I'm buying the dumbest stuff here. Please don't judge me. Okay, so I'm going to Disney in February and it'd be so cute to like kind of wear stitch stuff at Animal Kingdom. So I found this stitch bucket hat and then the most impractical socks I've ever seen. It's like clear, but with embroidery of stitch and pineapples for some reason, I guess like Hawaii, I don't know. This is what I'm buying. Yeah, this feels like a dumb purchase, but I'm really happy at the same time. Like, can you imagine wearing like the stitch bucket hat at Disney World with like blue overalls and then like a really impractical stitch socks? I think that would be adorable. And I also actually have an Elvis stitch backpack. So it's like stitch dressed up like Elvis. It's really impractical and weird. I don't know why I bought it. Stuff like that is exactly what I'm talking about when I'm talking about like impractical on a whim purchases. All right, so I'm leaving the mall now. Oh gosh, it smells like cookies. Oh, I want a cookie. That was everything I needed to buy today. And yeah, I know I didn't really need to, but those were all things that I really did want to buy on January 1st, but we just didn't have time because it was so hectic. I like don't even remember where I parked wandering around. So I'm just gonna wear the stitch hat for, oh, oh, wait, it's too small. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I didn't even, oh, I didn't even try it on in the store. It's for youth. Ah! I'm gonna go back inside real quick. Okay, I'm back. I got this cute little Mickey shirt instead. I figured, you know, I can wear it with like just classic Mickey ears, a Mickey backpack, it'll be fine. So there's a few things that I wanted to talk about regarding like inflation and Lego and just like buying Lego. Cause for the longest time I went crazy with my Lego spending. Like we spent probably a thousand dollars on every single big release day. So like August 1st, January 1st. And that's just absolutely insane. Like we should have probably waited for deals and discounts and you know, waited a few months, but to also kind of justify it like a little bit Lego is my job, you know, like I make Lego content. So like being relevant is really important. So like, that's why I was buying so much at the beginning. And I still love shopping. Like, obviously, like I just left the Lego store. I got this shirt. I love shopping. But inflation lately is kicking my butt. Like I can't keep up with this. And I know that a lot of people are probably feeling the same way. Like the other day I bought groceries and the cheapest dozen eggs were $6. I was like, why are these so expensive? And so because of all the rising prices, I decided to just reevaluate how I spend money on Lego, how I interact with Lego, like what my priorities are in Lego. And so I really hope this is helpful as well, but really I just wanted to share my thoughts, like take from this what you will. So one of the big things is FOMO, fear of missing out. Now for the longest time, I had so much FOMO around Lego because you know, once it's retired, it's gone and it's gonna be so expensive. And so I was like, oh God, like I can't, I can't get to the point where something retires and I miss it, but then want it later. So that definitely drove me to spend a lot more on Lego than probably makes sense. But over the last few months, there's been a release day like every first of the month and sometimes even twice in a month. So there's Lego sets coming out constantly 
constantly and it's unobtainable really for anybody to keep up with this. If you're able to keep up with it, good for you. I'm not able to and I'm just, I'm not even gonna try. It's not worth it. And say for example, there's a release day coming up and there's 10 brand new sets hitting the shelves and I want all of them. What I'm gonna try to start doing is looking at the sets and thinking like which ones can I find on sale? and which ones can I only find at the Lego store and get like double points or whatever. I will never stop doing shopping vlogs because it is like my favorite thing. Like this is purely for me. I am selfish and I like doing it so I make a lot of it. It's purely because I enjoy it. So I'm still gonna be hitting the stores on release day but I might not buy as much as I might have in the past. Like Lego Super Mario is a great example of this. I want the entire wave of Lego Super Mario. I will collect every single Lego Super Mario that comes out. I love them. I think they're great. The characters are so much fun. To clarify real quick, the sets are just kind of whatever but I like the characters. I want every single Super Mario character and that kind of means I have to buy every Super Mario set. In the past, Past, when there's been a brand new Lego Super Mario wave hitting the shelves, I would have dropped like $600 in that day just to get it all. And again, Lego YouTuber, like it's kind of my job, so makes sense kind of. But like right now and going forward, it doesn't really make sense to buy the whole Lego Super Mario wave, especially when I can probably find them on sale at Target or other retailers' websites for like 40% off next week. It's just not worth it to spend full price on that. But then a second really big thing for me is space. And I'm sure that if you're a Lego fan for more than five minutes, you started to think about like, oh, I have this new set. Where am I going to put it? Am I out of room? Do I need to buy more furniture just to put the Lego sets I have? Because it's honestly gotten to the point with Lego that all of the big sets that come out now, you almost need an individual piece of furniture just to put it somewhere. Lego City and mock building in general, right? Like that's such a good way to still enjoy Lego. Like you can still buy new pieces and experience that. But like buying a $15 little pab cup, is way cheaper and you can get so much more fun out of that than like a $40 Lego set, maybe even like a $60 Lego set. Like today at the Lego store, I spent $85 and each one of those pab cups help me cover about like one base plate of the hills in the Lego city. And each base plate takes me about two hours to build. I got three cups, so that'll be like six hours of fun. And six hours for me is probably the equivalent of buying like a $200 Lego set. So really I'm not trying to cut back on buying Lego, like at all. I love buying Lego. It's so much fun. Like the Lego store is like the candy store for me. Like the pab wall just makes me so happy. I love seeing everyone there, but I'm definitely trying to be more responsible with my spending because in the past I haven't been and that was dumb. And I also like don't want to encourage unhealthy spending habits, right? Like spend within your means. You can have so much fun with Lego, even just buying a pab cup, $15, you know, and you can have so much fun with that. And so that's going to be my focus for a while is just like using what I have because I've spent hundreds of dollars, probably even thousands. Honestly, it's like stupid how much I've spent on just like Lego pieces. Okay. So now number three is something that I personally kind of don't want to do. <laughs> and that is rebuilding your Lego sets. Now I do not enjoy rebuilding sets, like taking it apart just to rebuild it. Like that's not enjoyable for me. I don't want to do that. It's Lego. So you totally can. And I encourage you to do it if you feel like it. I just don't feel like it. So usually once it's built, it's built. And if it breaks or falls apart, then it'll probably sit in the baggie for a while because I just don't want to rebuild it. For me, that doesn't apply to everything though. Like my mystery machine, it's a small, cute little build. Like it brings me so much joy. So like rebuilding that is fine, but I'm like, I'm not going to take a the Eiffel Tower and then rebuild it. Like I haven't even built it the first time yet. It's still like two thirds of the way done. But I did want to re-mention rebuilding sets in this video just because, you know, some people want to do that. And I think that's great. Okay, I had to turn on the AC because it was getting very hot in here. So I'm sorry if it's like too loud. So yeah, inflation just totally sucks. Like we really do feel it in our day-to-day -day life. And like, why are prices that high? Like they have no reason to be that high. Eggs should not cost $6. I stand by that. And when you're tying that in with Lego, which is like my biggest hobby, it's my husband's biggest hobby. Probably a lot of you guys who watch this channel, like this is one of your biggest hobbies. Like if you're watching a Lego YouTube video, you probably like Lego to some extent. And it's just such a bummer dealing with all these rising prices because normally when you do budget cuts it's like your hobbies and your fun things that go first and I don't want my fun things to go away so I'm trying my best to use the money more efficiently and buying pieces and build the Lego city and work on mocks and just enjoy my Lego hobby in a different way than I did in the past, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Like it's honestly taught me how to suck less at building mocks. So I would consider that a win. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all of this as well though. Like how has inflation and rising prices like changed how you interact with your Lego hobby? Anyways, smelling those cookies earlier made me very hungry. So I need to go find food. Bye.